Hello, I'm Dave Cravassier. Here's a look at what's happening now. Uh, the Clark County School District is officially on pause starting today. Students are out of class until next Wednesday because of a major staffing issue due to COVID. The CCSD Board of Trustees have come up with a plan they hope will keep teachers in class. A total of $2,000 will be given to full-time staff members, but trustees worry the added incentive isn't enough to keep teachers in class. The payment will be split into two equal amounts of $1,000 and will be paid out before the end of the school year. Two new COVID testing sites are opening up in the valley today. North Shore Clinical Labs is opening the testing clinics in the parking lot of the Charlie's Lakeside Casino on Sahara, the other one on Sahara and Decatur. And they'll be open seven days a week from 8 in the morning until 5 in the evening. And this man is facing a judge today to be sentenced, Nicholas Jackson, accused of stabbing a man to death inside an apartment November of 2019 near Craig and Nellis, is due back in court today for sentencing. He's facing several charges, including murder and robbery with a deadly weapon. It is going to be a breezy Friday. North winds around 15 miles per hour from midday through the afternoon, but we'll also be mostly sunny and temperatures should climb into the mid 60s. So it's a bit milder than it was yesterday. A high of 65 officially at the airport, closer to the low 60s from Summerlin and the Southern Highlands up towards Centennial Hills on the west end of town. Mainly clear for your Friday evening. Temperatures falling down through the 50s. After dark, we'll see lows in the upper 30s and low 40s. Late tonight, they have a pretty solid weekend. Saturday and Sunday were partly cloudy, highs near 60, less wind this weekend. And Monday, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day also looks good at 60 degrees. All right, Justin, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, also our KTNV mobile app, Roku channel, and of course the latest version of Apple TV.